In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a new feature that came along with the Google Assignments 1.3 external tool update. And this feature is that you can now set to grade those assignments in SpeedGrader instead of going through your Google Drive. So here what I have set up is I just have my basic directions for my students. So we're going to go into edit and we're going to set up this assignment for our students. So the new Google update, which is the Google Assignments LTI 1.3, is set up just like the original Google Assignments that we've been working on. So you're going to set that up down here under Submission Type. So I already have my points, put it in the category. We're going to set this up as an external tool. Now when you go into Find, for the time being, you're going to see two types. So you'll see Google Assignments, which is what we've been using. And then now you'll see LTI 1.3, which is the new Google update. So you're going to click that. And then it's going to bring up where it may ask you to link your drive. So you can go ahead and link your drive. And then this screen looks very similar to the one that we're used to seeing with the regular Google assignment. So we can go in here and we can attach our file. So I have an exit ticket that I'm going to have my students complete. Uh, if you want the plagiarism checker on, you can go ahead and turn that on. Just like the regular Google assignments, this is going to give each student a copy. What's new is down here that you have an option of how you want to see grading take place with this assignment. So with the original Google assignments, what it would do for you when you clicked on SpeedGrader is it would pop up and you're actually grading in your Google Drive. But now you have the option to set this to where you can grade in SpeedGrader. And so that's what I'm going to select today. So then you'll go ahead and click Create. and then select. So we've got the, the external tool set up. So select is going to link that document. And then now I'll set my due date, especially if you're wanting this to sync over to your, to your PowerSchool if you're using Grade Passback. I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Publish so my students can see the assignment. For students, the submission process would be exactly the same. They would see the document linked at the bottom and go to the external site, complete the document, and then click Submit. But now that we've had a student complete the assignment, we can go into SpeedGrader. And previously, what would happen on this page is you would see the list of all of your students in the original Google assignments, and you would click and provide feedback, and you had to go in and return. But now that we've clicked SpeedGrader, we can see their submission right in here, just like if they submitted a Google Doc as a regular um, online assignment. And you can provide feedback and go ahead and score that assignment directly in there instead of having to go into your Google Drive and grade that way. That's a matter of preference for you. So if you still prefer to grade in your Google Drive, when we were on that original page, you could have always selected to grade just like Google Assignments, but SpeedGrader seems to be the preferred option. So now we're really excited that we have that option.